Here's my first question it's regarding the master students. Currently, currently, institute does not allow MTech students to undergo summer internships as they are given stipend. There are some exceptions with some departments. As well as their guides do not find it appropriate as the students would lose research time. Given the fact that students anyways lose a lot of time during placements and applying. Now this is the background. The question is, what is your stand on the issue? One, do you support the current stand of the institute? Yes or no? Justify. First thing is, as I probably proposed for this internship program, so I'm going to just bring number of uh, increase number of companies for that so that the opportunity for going for internship is increased. First thing. Second thing, I support this thing. I mean, that there should be number of internship internship is very is, is needed to the master students even because until unless they are uh, they know what actually is happening in the industry, what the actual problems are. So usually, what research happens in institute is practically less um, on on the part of practical knowledge i mean what actually is happening in industries so we want the practical problems that uh, usually happens in industry so for that reason i suppose that internship should be allowed so uh, you did not answer one of the other questions uh, is that uh, institute feels that the students lose research time if they go to internship and anyways they are al already losing some time during placements and happening. What I can do about it is this. For example, if you are taking a project, the project might or might not be of an industrial use. Okay. For example, I am working on a project which is a company. I mean, the company has given this project, the consulting project. So, what could be done is like um, bringing those problems directly to the guides or professor so that those same problems could be given to the students at their MTech project. In that particular case, they would be more likely to be, I mean, it's sort of an internship also and they are being linked to a practical problem rather than just sending the students to internship. I mean, this is... A and uh, second question is regarding PhD students. The common practice of PhD intake in many departments in the institute is students attend interview, they get selected, but they are allotted to professors according to the interests of the professors rather than that of the students. In fact, <coughs> students get to know which professors they are allotted to only after they join here, which is against international practice where students apply to specific profs according to their interests and get through. What is your stand on this and what are your plans? Just after they are introduced into IIT, there is no such common meeting between all the professors and the students, PhD students. So this is the main reason I feel that they do not come to know that what actually which professor is better and which not according to their area of interest. So there should be a, um, I mean for example I have introduced a thing for Antec and Thus, the same thing should be with all the PhD guys. The question, the question is, the question is, in the, issue, the common practice in IIT Bombay, in a lot of departments, is that students <coughs> inter interview and they would get a mail stating that they, they got selected. And once they arrive in the campus, they would get to know that they have been allotted to so and so prof without their knowledge. This is what I am saying that before, I mean, uh, already this has been there, but I am what what thing I am going to introduce is like a middle stage thing. I mean, first there should be interaction between the professor and the uh, students on a common room. Then there should be, uh, I mean, the allotment should be done. So and you, you propose that you would be asking this to me. Yeah. So next, moving on to generic questions. Uh, General Secretary Academic Affairs PG is a member of Student Welfare Society, Library Committee, uh, Disciplinary Action Committee, Academic Disciplinary Action Committee, among many. Okay. Your first question would be. Do you know the issues regarding term terms? Why they do not run on time? Yes or no? Explain. What I know about term terms is like first of all, this uh, this comes under the hostel secretary, uh, general secretary, hostel affairs. The actually second wrong. thing is factually wrong. It comes under both general secretary academic affairs PG and general secretary hostel. It's just keep general secretary academic affairs PG can give his suggestions and ask. Actually him. wrong. Both are equal members. Is, is term terms usually come under hostel affairs, no? Factually wrong, it comes under both H and SPG. Okay, even if it comes both under hostel affairs and general security academy of PG, the thing is, there are two, there is shortage of drivers. The thing is, I mean, uh, 
when there are shortage of drivers, obviously the company is not going to run on time. That's, that's the reason why private drivers and private buses are actually wrong. There is no shortage of drivers. Do you know the issue or not? Why do companies not run? Most on time? of the time they are on strike and all those things. That is the issue. So what? So wh this what is, this are you trying to convey? There is shortage of driver because they are not on. They are not running on time. They are not getting. I mean, they are not on job. This is the reason they are very short of drivers. So what, what is your stand on that? And what do you? For example, already a, a very good stand has been taken. For example, um, bringing private buses to the institute and making them run from morning to evening is a very good stand. I appreciate this thing. Probably the thing could be done is extending this time from evening to night would be a better suggestion to uh, get out of this problem. Second question would be the proposal for 2487 library was rejected in the current tenure. Do you know the reason? And what are your plans? I don't know the reason. Third question: The Academic Disciplinary Action Committee, uh, in the in the discipline, Academic Disciplinary Action Committee, cases have been on a rise due to academic dis dishonesty and malpractices. How do you plan to campaign among students so, so that that such practices are reduced? So, in the Academic Disciplinary Action Committee, the cases have been on a rise due to academic dishonesty and malpractices by students. How do you plan to campaign among students so that such practices are reduced? What I actually feel personally is like when there is a lack of work, you get introduced into all those things. So if you have good work, good amount of work to be done throughout your tenure, you are really too busy and you do not waste your time in doing all those things. So basic reason is just let people come with too much of work. I mean, it's like if you have a project, let's if you, are, if you have a project and you are going to spend your night in lab, you are not going to do your math practice and all those things in the night time in your hostels. Practice. So what do you propose? What I propose is, I, I can just make them, I mean, um, sorry. See, the problem, the, the reason for the num rising number of academic disciplinary action okay. cases is that students do math practice in, during examinations. Okay. Okay, so how do you make sure such cases are not on arise? A simple solution could be, I mean, increasing number of invigilators. This could be a simple solution. The other solution could be introducing, I mean, most of the time what happens in some of the subjects what I have seen personally is like the number of questions have been repeated from the previous exams. So in that case, they come with the same things available with them and they start copying with it. So the better thing is, if you introduce some questions which are new every year and um, probably more like uh, on the knowledge basis rather than just uh, So you would request faculty to introduce new questions? There have been very two number of, I mean less number of subjects which follow this thing, I mean uh, I don't no, see what is your proposal? I see, the reason might be anything but what is your proposal to reduce that? I can ask them but uh, I don't think it's too much feasible. I can ask them, but I don't think it's too much feasible to just increase the number of invigilators and I mean, and asking students to get, do not get involved in all these things. I mean, making them aware about the what the what the after effects could be might make them not do such activities. Thank you. So, well, you know that there are three sets of questions: one on master students, one on PhD students, and one general questions. So, your first question is regarding master's students. The background of this question is, currently institute does not allow M.Tech students to undergo summer internships as they are given stipend, though there are exceptions with some departments. Okay? As well as, their guides do not find it appropriate as the students would lose a lot, lot of research time, given the fact that students anyways lose a lot of time during placements and happening. So this is the background of the question. What is your stand on the first question is what is your stand on this issue? Do you feel that the institute's uh, apprehensions are right or you have some different stand? See it's a, it's a obviously It's only a guide in words that his the his students should work for his research research topic only. Okay, so 
the uh, guides they want uh, maximum uh, progress in that in his research field. So for that only uh, guides do that that you know some internship and uh, he is against this uh, uh, issue. What is your stand? That My is stand is correct or not? Well, it is correct on behalf of from me. So you do not encourage students to go for summer internships. It, it, in that, uh, in many cases that uh, where the research topics are same as uh, what uh, we are going for intern. So in that case, I will increase that. Okay. So, okay. so the second question is regarding PhD students. The common practice of PhD intake in many departments in this institute is students attend interview, they get selected, but they are allotted to professors according to the interests of the professors rather than that of the students. In fact, students get to know which professors they are allotted to only after the, they join here, on the, on the first day of, of their joining here, which is against the international practice where students apply to specific professors according to their interests and get through. What is your stand on this and what are your plans? Actually, I also think that uh, we should follow uh, inter like the international uh, international practices. practices. So, uh, the every PhD student who are um, who get interviewed should uh, uh, be interviewed by that professor only in which field they, they, those students are interested. Do you have any specific plans in your tenure? Well, if I if I become a GSA, then I will propose a scheme. Uh, to float the project topics beforehand only before the admission and uh, let the stu student select did you, did you do any groundwork to see if it is feasible or not well, I, no i have not yet okay. so the third set of questions are generic questions the background is general secretary academic of spg is a member of student welfare society library committee disciplinary action committee academic disciplinary action committee among many so, in this regard, the, your first question would be, do you know the issues regarding the tum tums? Why they do not run on time? Do you know or not? Yes or no? Yes. So, uh, what is the reason? The main thing is the uh, uh, drivers are on a strike. Drivers are on a strike. So, what are your plans? Well, right now the solution uh, the current GSA and council has introduced is uh, hiring the drivers on contract basis. So, uh, in my tenure, I will do this, uh, I will continue this, in my tenure, I will continue this and uh, 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 analyze the problem, uh, analyze the problem, analyze the problem uh, and hear the, what are the ple pleadings and requests of those drivers and try to compromise with them. So, the second question would be, the proposal for 24-7 library was rejected in the current tenure. Do you know the reason? The third question would be the number of cases which academic disciplinary action committee takes up have been on a rise and the reason being academic dishonesty and malpractices during examinations or during any time of their academic time, uh, academic career. How do you plan to campaign among students so that such practices are reduced? Uh, uh, I can, I can, when, if I become a GSA, GSA, GSA square, then, then I can, I can tell the students that during these mass practices are not uh, harming them. It's, it's not uh, 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 for their benefit, but uh, it's uh, uh, without, uh, without uh, these mass practices. students already know that? Well, without okay. these mass practices, they can also get good rates. Don't you think students <laughs> already know that? <laughs> we know that, but uh, to encourage them, we, professors can also take some stand, like uh, this time our professors have are lenient enough to... Have you, do you have any specific idea which you have already thought of? Not yet thought of. Okay. So, uh, Shubham, uh, you know that there are three sets of questions. Right. One uh, each regarding uh, masters, one regarding postgraduate students, sorry, uh, PhD students, and one is uh, 
regarding your generic uh, JSA script. Okay, here's, a, here's a, your first question regarding master students. Uh, the background of the question would be, currently institute does not allow embed students to undergo summer internships as they are given stipend. There are exceptions for some departments, as well as their guides do not find it appropriate as the students would lose a lot of research time, given the fact that students or anyways lose a lot of time during placements and applications. The first question would be, what is your stand on this issue? I strongly believe that uh, uh, if a student is interested to do summer internship, then he should be allowed. Uh, so what do you think, uh, uh, what do you think about their concerns? That student is anyways losing a lot of time during placements and he would already again lose two months of time during internships. So won't it hamper his research work here? Uh, it's all about managing your time. All right. Uh, means I do believe that if a student is uh, genuinely interested uh, to do his research work, uh, if, if he is interested to do his placement process smoothly, if he is interested to do internship as well, then I believe that uh, IITs do have that capability to do the time management. Okay. So, uh, this second question would be on uh, PhD students, issues about PhD students. The background would be, the common practice of PhD intake in many departments in our institute is students attend the interview, they get selected, but they are allotted to professors according to the interests of the professors rather than the interests of the students. In fact, students get to know which professors they are allotted to only after they join here during uh, on, on day one of their journey here, which is against the international practice where students apply to specific professors according to their interests and get through. Right. What is your stand on this and what are your plans? Uh, okay. uh, I oppose the current system and uh, I believe that uh, student should be asked uh, whether they want to work in this particular research area and under this particular professor because uh, PhD is about uh, at least a four year commitment of a student to that research work and to that professor. So what are your plans? What do you do? What could you do if you are elected as a general secretary? Have you thought of anything so far? Just a minute. Maybe we could bring a change in interviewing process. Uh, during the interview itself, uh, the student will be asked that uh, this is the project research area that we have available and uh, if you are selected you will be uh, you will be working in this particular research area are you comfortable with this the third set of questions are generic the background would be the general secretary academic affairs pg is a member of student welfare society right library committee disciplinary action committee academic disciplinary action committee among many others right the first question is do you know the issues regarding term terms? Why, why, why they do not run on time? Do you know yes or no? Yes. Uh, what is the reason? Uh, so basically term terms not running in uh, summer or recent winter vacations was due to uh, the strike that uh, uh, due to the strike that uh, drivers have some particular demands like they should be given the medical facilities as, uh, uh, as the facilities and other facilities that are being given to the employees of IIT Bombay and uh, due to these demands not being accepted by the uh, administration of IIT Bombay, they went on strike. So uh, as a solution, uh, the, uh, the administration came up with a, uh, administration came up with a solution that uh, there should be some contract buses being called in the institute and uh, they would run for the time being. Second question is, the proposal for 24-7 library was rejected in the current tenure. <coughs> Do you know the reason? solution for this tum-tum. When they said they don't, for you people you said you don't no, know. No, no, solution for tum-tum. He already said it as a solution. He himself said as a solution. Yes, so what would be the next thing I mean in your tenure? You didn't ask this thing. He himself said he is, the solution is hiring the contract people. He himself said as a solution. So, you don't know the reason for 20 Yes. Okay. The third question is, the 
academic disciplinary action committee has uh, has witnessed uh, a raise in number of cases which it is handling the reason is due to academic dishonesty academic malpractices during examinations and other times how do you plan to campaign among students so that such practices are reduced The best way to reach students is through the uh, student companions. Every student uh, coming in the institute have been, uh, are allotted student companions. So these student companions can be trained. Uh, uh, we can carry out a kind of training for these student companions so as to what should be transferred to the juniors in terms of knowledge. If the student companions say that these kind of uh, malpractices <coughs> may, lead, uh, may take you in some kind of disastrous situation, then uh, students will definitely not uh, not do such kind of activities. <laughs>